Ladies and gentlemen, we're at Grandma's, the Walmart special, Wiggle Bob Extreme, fishing. I see some fish down there. Nice, lovely, calm day at the lake. I see some bass down there, uh, rock bass, nice largemouth, and a little bit of bluegill. So we're gonna have to see if we can catch them for you guys. Also, over here, this is some lures that I got. Got a nice, uh, what is this thing? Oh, this is a buzz bait. So it goes, uh, you know what buzz baits do. I'll show you here later. This is my favorite lure of all time. This is the Whopper Plopper. The Whopper freaking Plopper. This thing was like $13. What the heck? They, they're on to us, guys. They know what lures are freaking awesome, and they're making them super expensive. Also got some nice little junkies in here. It's a little too big for what we're going after today, but I might have to modify this to put it on the buzz bait. Anyways, we're gonna go try to catch these bass here real quick. This guy, this guy has been doing me some good freaking work. He's caught like 10 fish on him already. It's a little rage tail crawdad with like a walleye sled head on him. He just goes like this. The bass just gobble him up. So we're gonna go see if we can get him here. Come on, let's go to the lake and get some. So earlier I saw a nice bass chilling right up here in the shallows. He was probably looking to eat some minnows, but I don't see him now. I have my x-ray goggles on, guys, to polarize. You gotta make sure to get some of these. You gotta be nice and stealthy, guys. Shh. Yeah. Oh, there he is, guys. There's a rock bass right here. Get ready, I'm about to smash it. Oh, here it comes. Bam! Oh, I freaking missed him. I almost hooked myself. Come on. Oh, yeah, they're both after him. Oh, no. He keeps nibbling just on the tails, guys. I think I'm yanking it out of his mouth. He just bit it again. But he's only biting the tails. I think he's only biting the tails, but it's a pretty nice sized rock bass, guys. Oh, there's a turtle, too. There was a turtle. I think I missed my opportunity to get it. He struck it like three times and I never set the hook. It's a freaking rookie mistake, guys. Okay, I missed the rock bass. He swam off into deeper water, but we're gonna go secretly, stealthily on the freaking dock. If we can like sneak up on some fishing. There's a nice school of bass, like right down there. A whole bunch of them. They're not really like, they're not really like, what in the world? Guys, there's a nice school of bass. They just ripped off one of Mr. Crawdad's legs. But let's, we'll see if he can still do the trick. <laughs> Might have to go reload. Mr. Crawdad has lost the fight today. We're gonna have to go put on a new lure. Can't really dance very good with one freaking leg. Gobbled him right up. But it wasn't really like a hunger strike. It was more like an aggressive territorial strike. It's kind of unfortunate. Let's go get a new lure on, guys. I think we're gonna put the whopper plopper on, see if we get some top water action. All right, before we put this guy on, before we put the whopper plopper on, I still have this hook. I'm gonna try to put this on, but obviously it's way too huge, so I'll teach you a trick. <laughs> Bite him a little bit tinier, just like that. I'm not sure if they don't like the, uh, the nice bright color. It's kind of ugly, but so are fish. Fish are ugly too. Crowdheads are hideous and scary and give me nightmares, but maybe eating them. We shorten them up. Maybe hide his little head in there. If they like that any better. If not, we're gonna put the whopper plopper on there. Oh, Freaking stealthy guy. Guys, there's like 20 bass here and I can't catch a single one. That's no go. All right, we're gonna switch up. They didn't really like my custom lure, so we're gonna put Mr. Whopper plopper on there. Fishing line in my mouth. All right, so this is a top water lure. I don't know if you guys know freaking Whopper Plopper. Whopper Plopper! Whopper Plopper, so if they're gonna bite this, it's gonna be a nice top water strike. Here, I'm making a funny noise. This is why they call it the Whopper Plopper. It's supposed to imitate like a hurt fish or a frog or something. Might be the color, might have to go smaller. They're not into the top water right now. No luck on the top on this one either, guys. Got one more trick up my freaking sleeve. Nice, big, juicy crawdad. And we're gonna put a darker hook on them. There's crawdads in this water, so they better eat them up. I kinda want the hook to stick out the top. It's kinda big. 
It's gonna be hard to set the hook here. Hook's a little small for this giant, big, juicy crowd head, but... I see a bunch of them sitting all the way over there. Oh, is that a big strike? So I bit off like half his body and then bit off his two little antennas that were gigantic. So now he looks a little bit more like a crawdad. Nice. There was like 30 bass out I didn't catch a single freaking one. A failure and a loser. They are just kind of biting the limbs off it and stuff, so... Thought I was all out of hope. I found these pinky winkies in the freaking shack over here. But this should do it. To the Yama freaking Moto! Alright, there's no way, no way that I'm ending this video without catching a fish. I had to resort to the last final freaking option, you guys already know, worm and bobber. If I have to catch a bluegill, so be it, but I'm ending this video with a fish. The bobber doesn't even float. There we go guys, the biggest in all the freaking land. <laughs> They're stubborn today, but I did it. I succeeded. I'm not gonna starve today. Bye, fishy. There's a whole bunch of bluegill right here, guys. We're gonna see how many we can catch on this one worm. Should be a little school of them right in front of us. Got another one. There's two. Looks like the same size as the last one. So two fish on that one worm. Still going hard. So much worm we have left. Oh no way, a baby bass! Guys like a little baby bass, new species. Yeah, catching monsters out here guys. That's a micro bass, baby. Or on the honey hole. Same worm. That's third fish, same worm. Oh no, we're about half worm left. Key is you can't let them freaking rip it all up. You gotta just snag them. Let's see if we can get fish number four. Oh, they're nibbling. They're nibbling guys. Oh, come on. Let's see how much worm we got. I almost fell in the water. Let's see how much worm we have left. Oh, not very much. He's struggling, guys. There we go, fish number four, guys. If this was survival fishing, we'd be thriving. But right now, we're just not thriving. Still got the worm. Four fish on that same worm. There we go. Fish number five. Oh! And I think our worm's all gone, guys. Five fish. All a little too small, but look at We have a piece of flesh on the hook. We're gonna see if we can catch fish number six on a piece of flesh. No way, no way, no way, another little bass. I didn't even have a worm on there. I didn't even have a piece of worm, it's another bass. Another one, guys. Look at that, I could put him in my fish tank. But hey guys, I told you I would not freaking end this video without catching a fish, so if you stuck around, you're the freaking best. And I think I know who did. Is your name Crew, or Andy, or Emma June? Well hey, thanks so much for watching you guys. You're the best, and stay tuned for some more cool videos. Thank you so much, and have a blessed one. Jesus loves you.